An absolutely beautiful day in Tom's live shot outside, wasn't it? Oh my goodness, yes, I was on the golf course for yes. most of the day. I think I'm a little sunburned, actually, <laughs> but it like, wasn't fully sunny, but you yeah. still catch the rays. Yeah, the weather is great out there, but you're right. We do have some thicker clouds, but that sun is still peeking through. So yeah, you can still get some sunburns. Hopefully had on the sunscreen. Hopefully had a great on my time face, on the golf course. But not on my arms. Uh -oh. Oh. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> get you some aloe. We need aloe <laughs> staff. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's right. Even when you see the clouds, you still mm. gotta throw on the sunscreen. But I do expect those clouds to remain fairly thick for the rest of the week. There will be some peaks of sunshine, but overall not much rain showing up on our Fox Rad radar. In fact, other than a few sprinkles near College Station, we haven't really seen much. We have to go north before we really start to see some big time action, and it's in the form of severe storms. In fact, we've got a tornado watch clipping portions of Missouri, Illinois, and also over into Iowa. You can see this big line of severe storms rolling through this area. And over the last 30 minutes to an hour, we've had a couple of confirmed tornadoes over in Henry County in Iowa and now Des Moines County in Iowa, a confirmed tornado doing damage. So this is not what you want to hear or see. It's not going to be for us this evening or tonight. But of course, in the upper Midwest, that is where the big severe storm and tornado threat will be. Yes, we've had some thicker clouds at times. It is a little breezy, but we really can't complain about this. It's great golfing weather, great park weather, great beach weather, temperature are warm, but it is nothing too crazy or extreme. We're close to 80 degrees right now, and we do have some wind gusts close to 30 miles per hour for Houston, but overall we are looking great. Maybe you're going to be out and about running some errands, going for a walk, spending some time in the woodlands this evening. Weather looks pretty nice for you as well. Good evening to you. 77 degrees by 7 p.m., 73 by 9 and 72 by 11 p.m. So breezy as I mentioned, but not much rain expected. It is going to be a fairly quiet night. In fact, for the rest of the work week, we're going to keep those rain chances on the low side, 10 to 20 percent. But look what happens just as you're ready to get out there, celebrate and enjoy your weekend. Here comes the chance for some heavy rain, more widespread rain and maybe a few strong storms, a 50 to 60 percent chance at this point for your weekend plan. So make sure to factor that in as you're making that list of things you want to do this weekend. Whether where you live tonight, another mild one all across Harris County temperatures likely only in the low to mid 70s and it will be a toasty steamy afternoon tomorrow as those temperatures soar to the middle to upper 80s for Houston over towards Cypress Katy everyone is going to be feeling the heat but at least it's not triple digit heat just yet we will cool things off for the second half of the weekend look for scattered storms ahead of a cold front that front will cool us back to 70s for highs Sunday and Monday